Hello everyone, my name is Kasim. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome. If you're not new to the channel, you're welcome back. Like I always say, I appreciate you for coming back to check out the channel and to check out what I have to say in today's video. So in today's video, I have something a little bit unique to talk about. It's not something new that I, um, it's not something new, but it's just a different way that I trade as well. So today's topic is really going to be, be the will strategy. And what the will is, is you basically trying to buy a stock in the process. You're trying to get paid, um, to buy the stock or sell the stock or sell the stock. So you use the wheel to either trying to buy a stock or trying to sell a stock. So in the process, you're trying to get paid, uh, in the process. That is the technical reason why you would want to use this, um, option trading strategy. But I primarily trying to use it to generate income. So that means I tech really don't want the stock. I just want to collect the premium. Okay. And the premium, you can think about it as a commission. Um, but what I try to do is every, every Monday I place a trade. If the trade goes well by Wednesday, Thursday, I might get out of the trade and get into another one for Friday. Okay. So we have a situation like that in today's video. So before we get into all the finances, I always want to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I am not giving you investment advice. Look in the description to read my disclaimers. I am not a financial advisor. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video. What we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about our Robinhood portfolio. Okay. So the Robinhood portfolio today is sitting, let's scroll this down. The portfolio is sitting sitting roughly on eleven thousand eighty nine dollars. It's going up and down. The market is open open while I'm doing this video, so let's just run through the um the past performance. In the past hour, we we are down seven dollar forty. Uh, the past day we're up thirteen dollars, and the past week we're down one hundred and one hundred and uh, seventy seven. And the past month, okay, this is nice. You know, the past month we're up one thousand three hundred dollars. You know, that's pretty good. That is pretty good for something I do on the side. Um, so in the past three months we are up nine hundred dollars, and yet today we are up one thousand seven hundred dollars. Now it goes up and down, like I always say in every videos. It goes up and down because that's the nature of this kind of investment strategy. Some trades will go really well and you know, you make money and some trade will go horribly and you lose money as well. So it's not a win-win situation. There's a chance that you can always lose with this kind of trade. But anyways, all in all for the year, we have gained almost $2,000. So it just is a slow grind up because you know, I make 150, a hundred dollars, $200 here and there every week. So it's, it's a really slow grind up, but over time, I believe this portfolio just by doing the wheel, I think it's going to get to, you know, a couple thousand dollars, maybe the six figures at some point in the future. So we'll see. So let's scroll down here to what we are here to talk about in today's video. All right. So for the most part, we're going to talk about the first two, um, which is space and AMC. Okay. You guys see that. You guys see that space, that's the first one. Um, I have the 29 puts and you can see that it's plus $85, okay? Let me go into that one specifically. So what I'm trying to say here is like, I'm willing to buy the stock at $29. The stock is currently trading at 32. So the higher the stock goes, the more money I make with the wheel strategy. Cause if this, if I'm willing to buy the stock at $29 and it goes higher than $29, then there's no way I can get it for the price that I want. So in return, I get to keep the commission, which is the 90, $96 that you see at the bottom right there on the history. That's the $96. That's how much I get paid, how much credit I get for opening up this particular contract. Now, what I'm going to do here today is that if we look here and look at the positions, okay, if we look here, we look at the position, 
you guys see that 89% of the value of the option is already realized. What that means is I can sell this and keep $86, that, which is exactly what I would do. And then I will enter um, another trade uh, for tomorrow. A little bit riskier, but I will enter another trade for tomorrow, which I'm going to do right in front of the camera with you here with me. The first trade here, we have $96. So what I'm going to do now is because um, the stock, the stock, I'm still keeping an eye on the stock as it goes up, then I'm going to probably sell this. But I can always, I can, I can actually sell this now and basically get um, this money that is available to me. So right now, basically what the, the value of this option that is available right now is $10. So when I opened the option, I got paid $96. And um, at the moment, you know, I, I can take out 86, like I said earlier on, I can take out 86 and that becomes my income for the week. All right. So what I'm looking to do now is just wait just a tad bit more and see if the option would rot. If the option goes down some more, I mean, if the stock price, the stock price itself goes down, then I'll probably sell the option. If it keeps on going up, I'll keep the option for a little bit, but I'm going to sell that option and either get one, get another one for this coming Friday or next week i haven't really made that decision yet so the next one that i'm going to talk about now is amc okay that is the one that says amc 29 puts right there on the space and that is the 72 dollar uh, plus 72 dollar gain that i have over there so if you go right into it so basically what i'm basically saying is saying here is i'm willing to buy amc stock at 30 at 29 dollars 29 puts. I'm willing to buy the stock at $29. So what um what I got paid for that is let me show you guys. I got paid $80. You see right there at the bottom on the history, I got paid $80 to do that. And if I scroll down here, we look at the current position, your position right now. If you look at that, you see I am um the total return is plus um, $72 and that's a 90% return so far. So what I'm going to do is as AMC goes down, which it looks like it is right now, as AMC goes down, which it looks like it's going down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell it. And then I would wait a little bit to see if it goes down some more. And once it starts going up, I'll do a covered, um, I'll do, I'll do a cash secure put. I'll do another one on it to be able to establish another trade this week so so far so far this week let me go into it and not be scrolling scrolling everywhere here so the, so far this week we have we have 80 dollars in income so far and the next one that we have right here is is at the bottom here is 96 dollars in income so 80 and 96 that's what we have so far at the moment so i'm going to record this video basically in segments uh, i'll wait to see what the market does and then i'll move on to the next segment so before we we log off this particular um this particular you know recording what i want to do is i want to share with you what the option trades is looking what the chart is actually looking at how do i decide to buy any particular option so what i what i typically look at is these situations over here when let's say okay so this is today this is today's trade um market is started here and you see in the morning space ran up and it's pulled back a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to watch watch this area to see what is going to happen before I decide to sell out of that that space trade, I'm gonna watch it closely. And this is the trade that I'm talking to you guys about. This particular trade here, this is what I'm talking to you guys about. So I'm gonna watch it pretty closely. I'm gonna watch it closely because the higher this goes, um, 
the cheap um the more money I make on this particular trade. Although I've already made um about you know eighty nine almost ninety percent of the value already. So if it goes up, I could potentially do another one. Or if it goes if it goes down, I will just wait for it to go down, and hopefully do another one in a in a little bit after that. So we'll see. Let's check out the AMC trade now. Let's look at the chart for AMC. So yeah, so we can clearly see that AMC is on the way down right here. You can see it's down, it's going down for the day. RSI, everything is going down. MACD is um, pointing downwards. You see everything right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the AMC, um, AMC trade that I currently have right here. I'm going to get out of that one. Uh, let's see, because remember what I'm trying to do is I'm saying I'm willing to buy it if the price drop. Okay. And I really don't want the price to drop. I want the price to keep on going up. So when the price start dropping, the trades start working against me. So, and I don't want that. So what I'm what I would do is I will sell this one right in front of you. So when you want to do when you want to sell sell out of an option trade, you would have to buy the same contract back. Okay, you have to buy it back at a cheaper price. So this is what I'm doing right here. I'm trying to buy it at a cheaper price. We'll wait and see what Robinhood does. Boom, that went through, and I'm basically out of the trade. So. When I got into the trade, I got seventy. Uh, I got ninety six dollars, and when I'm getting out of the trade, I had to pay eight dollars to get out of the trade. So I hope you guys get the idea. And as you can see, the trade is no longer there. I'm out of that trade. And if you go back here and we look at AMC, um, I will keep an eye on it. So because if it goes down, maybe I can do another one, uh, for this week or next week, which I'm gonna come and share with you. I'll do another one for this week or next week and we'll wait and see what happens. So in the meantime, I will keep an eye on space stock. Because those are the two, those are the two that I have um open right now. I'll keep an eye on space. This is this is it at, at the top here. As the stock goes up right here, as the stock goes up, the value of um what I have here would go down. So I'll keep an eye on space and update you guys very very shortly so stay tuned so the next one that i'm going to show you guys let me show you guys the next trade which is space okay i think i made a decision on what to do with that i'm going to show you what i'm going to do right now okay so what i currently have here if you see the 29 29 puts you see that's a minus one so that means i have that options open I have it open so and if you see chance of profit it's a it's a 92 percent chance of profit so that means i basically realized like today today alone i realized 70 percent of the value of that contract so what i can do now is basically i can sell it right by by buying it back so right here i can sell it by buying it um let me just do one Right here it released the two the tw um 2900 you know that's that's done and you can see i am completely out of both trades i'm out of amc and i'm out of space so what i'm now what i'm going to do like the same thing that i did for amc is i'm gonna monitor the trades okay i'm gonna monitor it so the more the stock the stock price go up I would do another cash secured put. Okay, as the stock goes up, I'll do another cash secured put. And as the stock, um, let me show you guys here. So what I would be looking at is if the stock breaks breaks the previous high at this point, if it goes above it, I'll do another cash secure put really quickly because that means the stock price look like it will be going up on the hour side and on the MACD two we can cross over and start going up so that's what i would do so basically what would happen is as the stock price go up and i do a cash secure put then the value of the um, contract that i have benefits me but if it goes the opposite way i do a cash secure put and the price start going down it goes against me 
okay so that is what i'm trying to do here and i'm just keeping an eye on these two particular um two particular trades here that i'm keeping an eye on um space and um, amc so wait and see what happened if amc drops below this i'm not gonna do another one if he goes above it i'll probably do another one so that is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause this and get back to you guys in a in a, in a bit so this is the breakout that i've been waiting for pretty much the whole day let me show it to you guys right here this is the breakout i've been waiting for this is on amc okay so this is how i like to enter um the enter my real strategy trade uh, i watch it if i have a parameter if you pass it i go in and take the trade if you don't i just don't take the trade but we just have this breakout right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head into uh into my robin hood and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how i decide to take a trade now i don't have any particular trade right now on um amc as you guys see here no sell trade on amc or space so what i'm going to do is go on amc right here and because we have this breakout like i said we have this breakout you see that right in the middle that big long candle basically took all the previous uh, lows out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and go okay remember this is the second trade of the week this is the second you know major trade so what i'm what i always like to do is i always like to go at least five five to eight dollars below the current price so we'll see that first um so we are looking at maybe 39 36 around around this area so the next thing that i also would look at is chance of profit okay it's just a rough estimate um that robin hood put up put in here so i would just pick anywhere between the um 78 percent and the 81 percent okay so being a little bit of a risk taker that i am i'll take the 78 percent so take that and basically what i'm saying here is i'm willing to buy um amc at 39 dollars and they're gonna um basically for doing that i'm gonna get a credit of 89 dollars and um i have to lock up three thousand eight hundred dollars as collateral to buy the stock okay if you guys see at the bottom you see all the disclaimers right there at the bottom it gives you it gets basically explains what that is for you guys so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to swipe up and see if the trade goes through if he yep it did it did go through so basically i'm a proud owner of i'm a proud owner of this contract and i've read and i've earned 70 71 dollars um, 91 dollars i'm sorry i just earned 91 dollars on this trade so what i would do now is go back uh go back and look up here and you, you guys see we have a new trade which is um amc amc 39 puts and you see right there at the bottom it shows you the date and the expiration and it has one cell one cell meaning as the stock price goes up let me show you guys right here as the stock price for amc start going up i'm going to be making money because the value of the contract will go down and as it's going down i'm going to be losing money because there's there's more likelihood that that is going to happen now i'm recording this on a wednesday now i'm recording i'm recording this on a wednesday as you guys can see here i'm recording it on a wednesday so the likelihood that that the trade will get to where it needs to get to by friday is probably very slim so we watch we'll, we'll watch and wait and see so this is the new trade if we scroll down you see this is another 91 dollar credit remember i did one earlier which that one too was about 91 dollars in credit and i was able to realize about 89 it, um 89 dollars of that so hopefully with this one too by friday i can realize about 89 dollars or maybe the whole thing by friday but we'll see so um this is what i do pretty much on a regular basis and i'm gonna look at the second trade that i sh promised that i would share with you guys okay um okay so you see 
you guys see right there we have the breakout we have the breakout right here so i will do the same thing with um with space here you guys see right there i put a line i'm like okay if it goes above it i'm gonna put a trade in so i'll do another cash secure puts for i'll do another cash secure puts for space here so let me show you guys so go on space the last trade that i have for space is let me show you all the way down here so you guys can see right there i got a credit i got a credit for okay so this is it is space 29 right here see right there at the top space 29 and i got a credit of 96 dollars and i i was able to sell that for right here this is it right here i was able to sell it for um nine dollars so i realized a, a pretty decent amount of that particular trade so what we're going to do now is we're going to do something similar and what we want to do is we want to go into the option chain here and look at july july um 23rd which is that's when it expires and then again you want to go to sell puts right there you want to go you want to make sure you you select that sell puts because it's easier to forget it and then again, I always like to go with certain stock. I don't go too far because they don't move that much. But with some stock, I go I go pretty far. So what we're gonna do is we might start from thirty dollars because that has a eighty five percent chance of being in profit. And then I will just go up and see. You know, in my head, I just do the risk reward. Because the current stock, the current price is at 33, 33.05. You see right there, it says share price, 33.05. So what I want to do is I, I don't want to be too close to the current um, stock price. So I might just do the either the 31 or 31.50, just because the chances of that being in profit is 81%. And um, the next one is also 77%. As a risk taker that I am, I'll take the 3150 and just swipe up on that and see what will happen. So basically what I'm saying is I'm willing to buy space stock. I'm willing to buy 100 shares of space stock for $31.50. And by doing that, I had to pull up a collateral of 3 three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars in order to purchase that 100 shares so by me putting in this contract i basically get paid as you guys see right here estimated credit 42 dollars sometimes it, it takes a long time for the trade to fill because robin hood sucks but unfortunately robin hood has the best interface uh to do videos like this so i have to sacrifice that Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce um, the amount that I get paid and see if that will make it go faster just for the sake of this video. You see that? So they just made one cent for me. That's how Robinhood makes money. It's not really free. But their interface is, is nice to look at for YouTube. So that's why I use this. If you know of a better one that gives me the same um, presentation that makes it easy, for other people to understand let me know comment comment it down below so yeah so this is another credit right here that i just got and it's a it's um 41 dollars credit so let's go to the history and take a history and take a look at what basically just happened so we're right here on the history so what we're going to do is go to it okay so if we're looking right here, you see you, you see all the all the trades that are, that we just we just took. So the four um space thirty one fifty, you see it's plus forty one. That's a credit to me. That's the money that I just got paid. Okay. Um, and then the next one that I have right here is AMC thirty nine. Okay, AMC thirty nine meaning that I'm willing to buy AMC stock at $39 by um, July 23rd. And for doing that, I get a credit of $91 because they have to hold on to um, $3,900 of my money in order to purchase the stock. So I, I basically got a credit for them to holding on to my money. 
So we have, let me write down and tally up what we have at the moment. So for this particular video, I think it's going to be a little bit confusing if I use just a statement and history section. So what I would do is I would look at the individual trade section. Okay. So if we go here, you guys can see that this is new trades now. Okay. I have space 3150 and that one is currently up a dollar and I have AMC 39 puts and that is also currently up a dollar. So these things, you have to give them some few, a uh, few days to see how the trade goes. But if I scroll all the way down, um, for the, for this trade, I got $91. And if I just want to look at everything in general, okay, just tallying up everything in general, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and look at AMC history alone. And I'll now look at space history alone. So the first trade that I did earlier on in the week was June 19th. You see right there, the third trade right there at the bottom. You see right there, that is the third trade. When I opened that trade, it was for AMC 30, um, 29 puts, and I got a credit of $8. A few days later, the, the stock went up and the value of that contract went down and I was able to sell it. I was able to sell it for eight dollars, so I I got a credit for for this for the contract for eighty three. Then I sold it, I sold the contract back, um, for eight dollars. So that was a profit. That was a nice profit, over seventy dollar profit. Okay, so what I did again, which I just showed you guys in the, in the previous section, what I did in this second video is to show you how I put these trades in and go through the process with you, both looking at the charts and looking at, um, you know, the option chain. Okay. So for AMC, so for AMC, for AMC, the current trade that I have right now is I got a credit of $91 and it's this, uh, and it's the, um, 39 puts. So this is a little bit more riskier, but it's not really too risky because I have two days until this contract expires. As long as AMC stays above, um, $39, I think it will be fine. So, so those are what, so th th those are what I have at the moment. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the calculator and tally up these two AMC trades. Then I'll do the same thing for space. So for the two AMC trade, what I have is the first one was $91. So we're going to add that up. And then the next one is $80. Okay. Roughly 80 bucks. There's just a rough estimate here, 80 bucks. And that just for the AMC trade, that was $171. Now I don't get to realize the whole $171. Maybe I, I, I would, I just realize I would just realize who knows, maybe it's going to be like $165 or something like that. So, but the amount of credit is what I count for these videos. Okay. So that is those two trades are for AMC. Now I'm going to go to space, explain it to you and tally up space as well. So the first trade for this week, um, is I have space, you know, I just did AMC. Now I'm going to do space. It's a credit of $96 that I got. So we're going to do that one. That's the first one. And it's space. Uh, that's a 29 puts. Let me zoom in here for you guys. 29 puts, you see right there, I got a credit of $96. And I was able to sell that 29 puts. Let me scroll up here. I was able to sell that 29 puts right here. I was able to sell it for $9, okay? So that I, I realized um, an, a pretty nice gain on that, okay? I got it for 90, I got a credit of 96 and I was able to sell it for $9, so that is nice. And then the second one that I did here was for 30, 31, 31, 50 puts. And I got a credit of $41 for that. So let me go to the calculator, tally that up, and we'll go from there. So this is the numbers for the AMC trade. Now we're going to add um, space to that as well. So we're going to go plus um, 41, which is what I got for the first one. And then we're going to do plus... 96 you know 
So it brings the total. So it brings the total earnings for this week at um three hundred and eight dollars rough estimate. But I'm estimating I should be able to realize about two hundred and eighty dollars of this by the end of the week. So that is that. Yeah, I hope you understand what I'm trying to do in this video. I know this video is really long. Thanks for watching up to this point. I hope you've learned something. The whole point of this video is for you to for me to show you what I do with the option with option trades because these things can sound or look a bit complicated. They're really not, but unfortunately, you need a lot of money to be able to do this strategy. Um, so that is it. I hope you get what I'm trying to do in this video. So this week we were able to make three hundred dollars roughly. Um, you know, this is nice if you can do this every week. This is a nice you know side income. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you for watching the video. If you like what I do here, consider subscribing to the channel. If you subscribe to the channel, you get a notification anytime I drop a video and you get to learn something new and you also support my community here that I'm trying to build on YouTube. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. Until next time, see you later. Love you all.